this is a steel control box I want to use for the CNC router and the uh, opening here is all steel so it's very difficult to see how we can make all the holes so I will make one in aluminum and I'll cut that on this Shiboko and this is what the video is all about Okay, first thing I've done is to make the drawing of the uh, plate in campaign and you can see it here, you have the outer perimeter this is the inside of the hole that's in the steel box not going to use that for anything and then I've put six connectors here for uh, the X, Y, Z, A limit switches and probe this is the connector for the computer the power in and then this is a European type of plug for power out which I will use for the spindle uh, I have added the different profiles here uh, and just as an example I use all the same speeds and so on for all the cuttings so here I am cutting the uh, the holes here and you can see I use 250 millimeter uh, per minute um, and the as uh, the feed rate and the plunge I have set at 100 and then I do a step over of 0 0.4 which is what the program also proposes and then in order to cut the 3 millimeter it sets to minus 3 and I use a 3 millimeter 2 flute uh, end mill uh, bit to do all the cutting. So I have basically done this and uh, the, for the different pieces, the holes for the connectors, all the connectors and then the outer perimeter and some holding tabs. All of this should be fine, generating the G-code and then go to the shape or code. Loading the program into the RBO controller and we are basically ready to start doing the cutting. So here we have the finished part with all the connectors in for the spindle, powder, the four axes, limit and probe and PC. And I think it looks pretty nice. The different cutouts. So I'm pretty satisfied with this. 